my definition of servant leadership is just leading by example. Um, mm -hmm. And that's the reason why I'm still so competitive. Like I'm not a great sales leader as far as the training aspect, because that's just not my set of skills. Uh, my business gotcha. partner, Nathan Wells, who right now is two offices over there, over from me training somebody right now, like that's his skill set. He can train like no other and he enjoys that process and teaching someone and then watching them go do it. That's just not, that's just not my, that's just not me. I mm -hmm. can be a sales leader though by showing them what's possible. How have you changed your definition of servant leadership since being in the field? I again ran across an episode where you just, you absolutely thought your skills were not in training mm -hmm. and that's what you're doing right now, which yeah, I think it's an interesting transition over the last year. Yeah, um, so <clears throat> with my style of leadership, it's so bent towards leading by example. And so with what I'm doing now, going into these different you know, territories across the country training people, I'm really just showing them what it looks like. Like showing them what it looks like to succeed, showing them what it looks like to work hard because people have a very broad definition of what it means to work hard. Like a lot of it almost like comes across as hyperbole. Like I worked 16 hours today. But whether you worked eight, 10 or 16, it's just a lot. Like, what does a lot mean? It's so like when we say make 150 phone calls, like I wanna be with them making 150 phone calls and for that at the end of the day, them to go, so many times they're like, oh, you meant like 150 phone calls. You didn't just say that meaning a lot. <laughs> and so, you know, the best way that I train is literally just doing what I've done and for them to be able to, you know, experience it be involved with it because they're making the majority of those those 150 phone calls but for them to see that like the second that i hang up the phone i'm dialing the next number that there's no pausing like i don't need to think about it i don't need to dwell on what just happened if i got rejected or if something weird happened on that call i don't need to really think through it i just need to pick up the phone and dial the next person and so it's it's played out well i still don't think my natural like with my personality is one to train from like a here's how you do it let's talk about the you know um, psychological side of it and here's what you're thinking when you do that I'm more of like a here's what you do let's do it now and do it again and do it again and do it again and do it again and I think that that's you know that's an important thing for them especially in the phase that they're in the business when I'm there it's like their first week really working the business and so I want them to see what it's supposed to look like with hopes that when I leave, it continues to look that way. Um, but I've always been just super bent towards leading by example. That's why it was hard for me to come out of the field writing business and selling myself because I didn't want to tell somebody to do something without them seeing me on the leaderboard. Um, because there's, you know, there's times we've all had coaches, we've all had teachers, that have never done what they're teaching us and coaching us how to do and there's a disconnect there that just yeah it just like doesn't it just doesn't stick but when they're having you show them how to do something but then seeing you do it 50 times and then them doing it 100 times then it really sticks and so it's just a different way um, of training but i think it's a super effective way and it's the only way i can do it